So Thursday the 21st, I believe it's the 21st. 21st sounds good. I don't know, numbers, are they important anymore? Thursday, did I say Thursday or Wednesday? I'm totally losing my mind. Thursday the 21st. Whatever came out of my mouth before, let's pretend like it didn't happen. I have plans to, of course, work. Can't get out of that. Not that I really want to. Work, and then later this evening, I have another book club type group where we're going through sheet music. It's a wives group. It's really fun. I like it. I like hanging out with those those women. Other than that, I have some of my, uh, I have some of my buddy reading of winter to do, and then I want to get to the Scruffy Piper and volume three of the Alice in Country of Hearts series. I, that sentence just doesn't feel like it felt right, but we're gonna go with it because it's there and already recorded, so cool. Other than that, it's gonna be a very typical day. This vlog is gonna be pretty much like the other three vlogs for my working week have been I'll try to keep you entertained, but overall, I will tell you what I think about these books. <laughs> the glare. So the dogs are probably the loudest eaters ever. Yeah, pretty much the loudest eaters ever. They, they, are, they are pretty bad, but I love them anyways. But it is the end of the work day which means I have a couple of things that I've read. I finished the Scruffy Piper. I really like this one. We got to see Dr. Number Two with his little recorder. It was adorable, I really liked it, which is a little bit surprising because I haven't spent a lot of time with the second Doctor, but I still, I like this one. I then picked up the third volume of Alice in the Country of Hearts. This is probably my favorite volume so far. I think it's just because I feel like this one had a lot of development, especially character-wise and story-wise. You get to see a little bit more of who Alice is and who each of the characters are, what motivates them, and then Alice just wanting to make them a little bit better. And then you also get a little bit of insight of what could be going on with these games and what that all means, which leads me, <laughs> I have started volume four. I'm probably gonna fly through these because I am invested in this because I have a theory. I have a theory about Hatter and the Queen and I wanna see if it's valid. I'm pretty sure it's it's true because the way everything has been set up, especially when we got all of the backstory in volume three and how the Queen was talking about, how she was taken and her family and all of that kind of stuff, I have a feeling, I got a feeling that there's, there's some things in Hatter's past that connects the two and I have a strong feeling and a strong desire of what I want it to be. I'm pretty sure they're siblings. I'm throwing that out into the universe. That is a random guess, that is not a spoiler, it's just how I feel at the moment and I want to see if that's true. I'm pretty sure it is. But other than that, I do want to have a talk with you guys. A, a little, maybe a couple years ago, I started a Society6 shop where I put out some of my suggestive book reading sayings and just put it out there for anyone who wanted to, I don't know, get shirts or whatever with them on it. I have since closed that shop because I am thinking of switching it all over to Teespring because I know that is integrated with YouTube and I now have access to that. So this weekend, I am probably gonna go through all of my old designs, maybe do some refresh, maybe switch things up a little bit, maybe make a few more, and then I'm thinking about opening a Teespring shop. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it is something that I wanna try to do. Honestly, part of it is because I want to reorder some of those designs myself because the shirts I've ordered in the past for the original set when I first did this whole concept in college. The shirts don't quite fit me the same way anymore and I kind of want t-shirts that fit now and hoodies. So I'm thinking about switching over all of that and making that available to you guys. And if there's any of those kind of sayings that you think I should do and I should put on shirt or anything like that, tell me down below because I think it's just fun and something that I really, really want to get back into. It's been a while since I've gotten to do this kind of graphic design since I've been so embedded in the software world that I'm excited to do it again. So I might just kind of jump in that this weekend because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the DIYs I wanted to do. The basement stuff is looking like it's going to take through next week 
which means a lot of their stuff is in the garage, which is the space I need to use to do some of the DIYs I was thinking about doing, which is painting bookshelves and things like that. So I'm gonna hold off on that, probably do the uh, Teespring stuff instead. Well, I don't know. I think it's gonna be fun. It's something new to play around with and I think that's why I wanna do it. We'll see if it's a good idea or not or if it just kind of dies like my Society6 shop did. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge influencer. I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. I'm not used to branding myself and selling myself, but I'm just gonna put it out there in case anybody else wants any of these kind of things. It is time for wrap up of Thursday. Now I didn't do quite as well as I've done the last couple days. I did get into three volumes, but I didn't finish that second volume of Alice in the Country of Hearts. I of course talked to you about the Doctor Two, Doctor Two, Doctor Two. I'm changing his name now. The Doctor Who Time Lord Fairy Tales and Alice in the Country of Hearts Volume Three. I got a little further in uh, Volume Four of Alice in the Country of Hearts. This has gotten to a point where I am fully invested in figuring everything out and I need to know all of the things, which is slightly unfortunate because I don't have the last volume. So I'm gonna hit a point, the same point that I hit with Food Wars and making a decision on whether or not I just need to go ahead and purchase this or wait for the right time or price or not do any more of this. I already know that I'm gonna have to do more of this. I have to say that I am more invested in this storyline than I am in Food Wars. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love all the foodie stuff in Food Wars, but this has got me more captured character-wise in trying to figure out what this world is and how everything is interconnected and what's gonna happen next, how things are just gonna pair up and I, I wasn't that way at the first couple volumes of this but then volume three hit and now I'm part way through volume four and I'm like oh my gosh what is this why didn't I read this sooner kind of deal I don't know why that is I just I think I'm connecting with this one so much right now which I've got this rest of the volume and then I've got one more volume and then I've got nothing so um yeah yeah now I know this is my Thursday vlog but before I sign off I just wanted to remind everybody today Friday the 22nd I'm gonna be hosting the Twitter sprint over on the Readorama Twitter. I'm gonna be doing that at 65 Central. So I hope I will see you guys there. I always say how much I love these Twitter sprints and I really, really do love these Twitter sprints. So I hope to see you there.